Hi everyone, thanks for joining me today um, at East Marsh Acres. Um, yeah, uh, last video that I was in, uh, I was showing you my my calendar that I wanted to um, yeah, start seeds and what my gardening um, schedule was going to be like. So this week is the day, the week that I start. Um, I'm going to be starting bunching onions, leek, peppers, something called wonderberry. It's related to eggplants and peppers. Um, so it must be a nightshade and uh, eggplant and then all my tomatoes. So I just got one seed of, package of tomatoes. The rest of the tomato seeds I have actually um, harvested myself from our tomatoes from last year. So um, some of the, uh, some of the um, seeds now, um, the leek, the onions, and the peppers, um, I'm going to start something, something's called chitting. <laughs> Uh, I found it on another um, video from the Holler Homestead. And uh, so what you do basically is you, so uh, green peppers are, or any peppers are very hard to germinate. They take a long time. So we're gonna try to speed up the process and also see uh, which seeds are going to actually uh, germinate for me. So, these ones are red pepper seeds that I harvested last year. So what I'm basically going to do is I'm going to put the seeds on a um, I'm going to put it on a paper towel. Actually, I should have wet the paper towel. And I'm going to put the seeds on the paper towel like this. And that's probably enough. Um, probably going to germinate more than I need, but might as well do more than I need. Um, so these are the red peppers. So then I'm going to fold this over, and then I'm going to thoroughly, I'm going to wet it. Then I'm going to put it in some um, plastic bags. So I'm going to put that in here. I'll probably get two in there like that. We'll do another one. I don't want to use all of them just in case none of them actually. <laughs> So what's going to happen is that once they're in the bags, we're going to put them in um, I'm going to put them in the dark, keep them wet, keep them get them in a warm place. So I've got a, I've got a heater that I will put in the uh, uh, plant stand. So I'll show you the plant set at the end. Then I'm going to hang them. Uh, so basically, I should mark these in. So then they're in a bag like this. And they'll be hanging. And then hopefully they'll germinate. And apparently, as soon as they germinate, you should be getting them into the soil um, so that they don't kind of... Um, uh, start to grow into the paper towel. So I'm going to see how that works because last year I got some peppers started and I had, oh, 
maybe a 25% germination rate. So there's a lot of wasted space on the plant stand for stuff that wasn't germinating. So let, I gotta get a, a pen and uh, a marker and actually save that. Okay, so let's mark red pepper. I'm gonna write the date on it too. So I think we're March the 9th today. Do that. Okay, I'll put them there. And let's do the same for um, a green pepper that I got. So these are all heritage seeds from Revival Seeds in uh, Nova Scotia. Uh, and where did my scissors go? There they are over here. And last year, uh, yeah, the peppers started really late, so these I'm starting earlier, but also we're going to be put the, putting them in the high tunnel. So they are, oh man, you don't get very many seeds, so I'm not get. I hope the German rate, German, germination rate is, is good with these seeds, because that's all I got. Wow. Okay. Hopefully... So these are green peppers, hopefully. Um, I'm gonna get, get enough germination, but then these are new seeds and they weren't harvested. So I mean, I probably have um, a good good enough rate, hopefully. <clears throat> But red pepper seeds are great too. I, I really don't know a difference in the taste except for the colors. So it's always nice to have the red things in there. Uh, so these are green peppers. one down. Um, now let's get to the leeks. Leeks were interesting last year for germination too because I could hardly see the germination or the actual leeks so I hopefully um, small seeds. So um, be nice if they all germinated because um, I love leeks. I love them in soups. And so let's put that over. While it's hanging too, um, I believe you have to make sure that they're keeping hydrated and moist for germination to occur. Um, so most germination, you don't need light, but you do need to have heat. And then as soon as they germinate, then it goes under the grow lights. So I have one shelf, the bottom shelf there, 
that I don't have uh, lights under, so that's where I'm going to be putting these. And what else? Bunching onion. So upstairs, actually, so <laughs> we've been using a lot of green onions lately because we've been having more eggs from our chickens and finding that, yeah, I like to make egg salad and I like to have green onions in it and they go well in any kind of stir fries on top and anyways, I, I really like the green onions, but they, for a little bunch of green onions right now in Canada, they are $1.99 for maybe, so it's two bucks for maybe eight green onions. So, yeah, it's, it's like 25 cents a piece. I got, that's ridiculous. Anyways, we're, um, so I wanna start growing more of them. Now what I heard you can do, which I, I'm trying upstairs, is you can actually um, grow them, uh, in soil. So I cut off the ends, which you normally do when you're preparing green onions, and I just made the soil most moist. I have a, a pot upstairs where I had some basil in and the basil was finished, so I just put the green onions in. I've been keeping the soil moist and it's in a sunny sunny north window. No, not window, east window upstairs, and uh, it's starting to sprout green onions. So, um, and that's within just a yeah, few days. So hopefully I can keep the green onion train going and be able to So I'm not gonna do this with like all my seeds. Um, Tomatoes, not like, I haven't had problems with germination and I've got lots of seeds, so I'm not too worried about, about that. Oh, I shouldn't have closed them all the way. That's one thing that they said because you could lead to, um, to like a mold, mold problem or something. Um, because they're not getting any air. So I'm just going to open it up a bit. And so this one is bunching onion. <clears throat> so those are the ones that I'm going to hang up in there. Um, okay, these are all the ones done. So for the rest of them, I'm going to start, I'm going to um, start them in, uh, so how many, so I think the tomatoes I'm going to put all together. So the uh, eggplant and the wonderberry. Hmm. I'm trying to figure out which containers I'm going to use. This is kind of a handy little setup here. But this is my art table. Um, so I just uh, rolled it out here into the laundry room so all the dirt is going to stay here. Um, let's see. Maybe, so I've got how many types of tomatoes? Romas? Paul Robeson, Zebra, San Marzano, and Golden Boy tomato. Um, I think those are... So yeah, one, two, three, four, five types of tomatoes. Um, so, one, two... So 
this one, I think I'll put the eggplant and the wonderberry in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some soil into broken cup. <laughs> so once they're germinated from here and they have like their first and second leaves, um, then I'll be putting, so this is seed starting mix. just to start them in there. And I'm going to just lightly dampen the seeds. So these are grape tomatoes, and they're kind of, like, they're supposed to be more like brown ones, like raw, um, uh, Paul Robeson's kind of thing, but they're actual, wow, you don't get very many in here. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. So let's hope for 100% germination here, because I love to have a lot of cherry tomatoes yeah, sitting in the corner some seed there. Okay. So small. I'm trying to keep them apart a bit so that when they do germinate I can actually um, pick them out easy enough to replant. Then I'm going to replant them into um, I'm going to replant them into the, the um, um, three inch or like the yeah, a deeper one so then I don't have to move them again. Um, but at least I know that they're germinating and then they just have to grow. So, so these are called the gold grape. grape tomato. right here. Okay. <clears throat> now, I don't have a lot of these zebra ones left either. So I'll make a definite um, distinction between the areas. Close the door because my husband's getting excited.
So the zebra tomatoes are, they're kind of a, a fresh eating tomato. They're just little, little round ones and they've got a variegated outside. Um, so they're, they're kind of cute and they taste good. So these are, again, I've changed, I've saved some seed. I'll do one different, one other kind. Um, let's try these ones, the San Marzano. So they they were great for sauce last year. They were Roma, they're a type of Roma tomatoes, and then they have this point on them, and. Uh, they are very meaty, so they're great for sauces. And I put up a lot of, froze a lot of sauce. And uh, yeah, so it's great. These ones I might as well put them all out because um, they because they're my own seed. I don't know how much are going to germinate. Uh, this is this is a, an experiment. I have not done that in the past, so I'm hoping <laughs> for the best here. Kind of sticky together. If I get lots of seed starts, I will probably share them with my my neighbor and my daughter-in-law and her mom. And Let's go with this and see what my success rate is here. Put this back in the bag. <clears throat> So, now I've got them, oh, I've got the better write down what they are. 